Hello and good evening everyone. I'm back here for another video and the video is again on my favorite topic and that is idioms that we've already done in the previous video and I really enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed my video and we will be doing the same topic uh, but we will move ahead and we will see what are the different types of idioms and how the category of idioms are divided because it's a vast topic and I love it. It is pretty well as um, it is not only something that we have to memorize and learn, but it is also going to enhance the way you speak and your personality. So it is really something that you need to learn. Okay, so we are going to do the same topic. Uh, I will just have uh, two or three slides uh, previously that I've done. I will repeat the two slides and then we'll move on. So I'm sharing my screen here. Okay, so common idioms, phrases and expressions. Now, we've already done these ones. I'm just going to repeat uh, quickly, very fast to have a recap of what we did. Idioms that are used, the sentences that are used to enhance the way you speak and uh, to have uh, another level of English. So the idiom add insult to injury means jale pinnamak, to make a situation even worse. Once in a blue moon, eat ka chand. When someone, something happens very rarely. See, eye to eye does not mean eye contact, but ke hum ek hi cheez pe ha ha ha. That means idiom is you, this type of idiom is used to say that two or more people agree on the same topic. Next, hear it on the grapevine. That does not mean the grapevine and you're hearing something out of that thing. This means to hear a rumor about someone or something. Missed the boat does not mean the boat is gone and you cannot travel through water. Someone missed his or her chance at something. Another one, kill two birds with one stone that does not mean that you're holding the stone and the archery in your hand and um, you're actually aiming at the birds and you're going to kill two birds with the same stone. It's not that. To do two things at the same time. Cut corners does not mean you sit and cut the corners of the bed or the edges of the world. When something is done badly to save money, to hear something straight from the horse's mouth, to hear something from the authoritative sources. Costs an arm and a leg does not mean that you have to give the arm and the leg. It is. It means that it's very, very expensive. The last straw, that means the straws are over at the house, in the house. No, no, no. If someone is, uh, uh, if someone has come to your house and you say the last straw, that does not mean that the straws are over. That means the final problem has actually taken place and there will be no problems further. Okay, now this is a new part that we are going to do today. So I'm going to say the idiom and I'm going to explain the meaning of it as well. Take what someone says with a grain of salt does not mean that if somebody talks to you, you will go and bring wheat and put salt on it and start eating kacha. It does not mean that. Not to take what someone says too seriously. Sometimes some people are so emotional, so emotional that even though uh, some, someone has just cracked a joke, uh, a very silliest joke, still it's, they'll start crying and they will not like it, right? So that is called that you're taking too seriously, things too seriously. So we should not take things very seriously. Sometimes if someone is actually enjoying trouble, you let them enjoy. You, you trouble them back and you also enjoy you should not take things so seriously that you become so emotional then, right? So you should be a very happy to go person, easy to go person. So sit on the fence does not mean that you're sitting, going and sitting on the fence. And it will really poke you very hard if you go and sit on the, pen, uh, on the fence. And you know very well where will it hurt you. So, sit on the fence does not mean to go and sit over there. This means that 
this is used when someone does not want to choose or make a decision so you don't want to do that thing or uh, if someone uh, does not want to do doctor does not want to become a doctor does not want to do mbbs and the parents have forced i don't know why poor children their parents are forcing you to do something no please do things that you like for yourself please explain your parents if someone is forcing you for something and explain it in a very respectful and good way you do not need to fight and start crying or do something like that but explain it in a very good way respectfully to your parents if something is being forced to you so for example that you are being forced to become a doctor you have to do mbbs even though you are failing uh, till 10th in <laughs> science subject and you do not like science subject you have to pass and you have to do mbbs so if someone is going to do that you will say no i have to do mbbs i'm going to sit on a fence that means you are forced to do something that you do not like and you do not want to choose the best of both worlds now does not mean that you are going to have all the luxuries in this world and after you die even in the world that is going to come ahead it is not that it is actually it all it actually means all the advantage the advantage of this world and the other the, i mean the best of the bo- uh, the best of both the worlds means you're going to get all the great advantages that means if you want to do some work you are earning respect as well as money as well as um, uh you are enjoying the work so if you do a work that you enjoy and you study something that is not forced on you but you love it and you really enjoy it you will earn money and with earning money you will enjoy yourself and you will have great respect for yourself and your people will also respect you so the be- the best of both worlds is to do what you what your choice is so best of both the worlds is to have all the advantages together next put wool over other people's eyes does not mean take rose water on the pa- on that wool or i mean the cotton and put it on your eyes because you're getting dark circles girls over there who are watching do not do that if someone tells you that this person put wool on the other people's eyes so do not go at your house and start putting wool on your eyes with rose water it does not mean that it means to deceive someone into thinking well of them that means to appear and look very nice and uh to deceive that means the person in front of you who's watching you actually feels that this person is so beautiful so good and like everything is so perfect but it is not the thing you don't know the person once you turn your back and go home how he or she is actually so if i if i explain this uh, deeply for example two people are together a girl and a boy and um, the boy is actually fooling you so some girls are is uh, actually they are actually fooled very easily so it is attention attention to the girls actually so do not let the boys put wool on your eyes does not mean the rose water wool that means that do not be fooled or conned by people and do not be deceived by people be very clever and strong girls and you should know if the person in front of you be strong enough and be firm enough to tell no if you if someone is taking due advantage of you and if someone is fooling you don't be so emotional i know in this age you do not understand things but do not be so emotional that the person in front of you will deceive you and go so open your eyes and nicely look at the person with whom you are and uh, that someone is not really fooling you another one speak of the devil i think this almost everyone must be knowing and everyone must be even using it in your day to day life right speak of the devil we actually say it in this tone it is actually ke uh, kisi ke bare mein baat or the person comes 
so this expression is used when the person you have just been talking about arrives so it's like if you're sitting in the house and you're talking about someone like your brother suppose so i will <laughs> say like for my brother because i always tell that because he really troubles me and since i've we've been small he troubles me i trouble him he's he he irritates me i irritate him so i always tell for him that i i keep on talking about him and then he rings the bell so i say speak of the devil that means he has just come i'm just speaking about him and he's come so feeling a bit under the weather that does not mean that if someone says that are you feeling under the weather that means you go out in the sun and you sit there and say oh my god i'm feeling under the weather <laughs> does not mean that very silly it means that you're feeling ill and sick so it happens right when the weather changes sometimes you start feeling sick at times because of the weather really but that is not the main thing the main thing is that you're not feeling well no we can divide idioms into different categories let's see the type of categories here so the first one is body parts animals nature food money sports and colors seven things that we are going to do so idioms is a vast topic and we are going to cover seven of the categories of idioms okay now idioms that are based on body parts now sometimes in in idioms we use the word uh, arms legs face eye neck toes tongue fingers hands uh, these all words are used but that does not really mean that you're talking about the face or you're talking about the eye neck toes leg whatever you're not actually talking about the i mean you speak about the body part but the meaning is not actually that you're referring to the face so for example two faced so if you say that person is two faced that does not mean that he actually has two faces coming out from his neck it does not mean that it means that someone deceitful or very insincere that means a person who comes to you in front of you and he shows that he's such an innocent person yeah even boys can be fooled sometimes about girls i'm really sorry girls but sometimes even the boys feel that this girl is really so innocent and she is so good and so good and you look when when you go to their house and the way they scream and shout and all of those things so she can, she can act like a devil and you are thinking that she is a fairy <laughs> okay so you at that time you can say this girl is two faced that means she's showing something else and she is something else catch somebody's eyes that does not mean that you run behind someone and actually grab their eyes my god <laughs> what a scenario so it 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 means this idiom means someone you find really attractive so to catch someone's eyes means you're feeling very attractive then all yours all yours you mean okay sorry for the pause in the middle i'm sharing again all years does not mean you have so many years it actually means you are listening very attentively that means you are actually putting all years to the the way the teacher is speaking or someone is giving you a lecture or something now a pain in the neck does not mean actually your neck is paining it means a person who is very irritating or annoying um keep someone on their toes does not mean that you are asking someone a bet that you have to stay on toes the whole day it means make some make them alert and ready for the action at any time suppose you're playing some game or something and you have to say you have to be on toes that means you have to be ready at any time pull one's leg does not mean you are going to hold the legs and pull it means teasing someone by telling them something that is not true at all so if if you want to trouble someone by saying that oh you're so fat the the most silliest thing to trouble a girl even though she's thin and fit and healthy you're going to tell her fat and you're going to trouble her oh she's so fat so you're just pulling her leg on the top on the tip of your tongue that does not mean the tip of your tongue it means a word or an answer that you are sure you know but have a difficulty in finding it this 
actually i will like to share with you all actually happens i hope i imagine even everyone must be going through this and must have played the game antakshari right antakshari and uh in this game antakshari you have to say songs from the last letter i mean the last sound that the other person has spoken and so many times it happens that the person is saying suppose for example sir you have to say a song from sir and you know so many songs from sir but at that very moment it's like mere dimag mein aa raha hai par kya hai you really cannot say what it is so but you know it you know it in your heart you know that you know the song from sir but at that very moment it does not come to your mind right so there you can say that on the tip of your tongue the song is on the tip of my tongue but i don't remember it have your hands full that means you've not got something in your hand but you are very busy and you have a lot of work to do keep your fingers crossed now we actually do this sometimes but that does not mean kuch positive hone wala hai it means hope that something will be successful so we sometimes do this keep the fingers crossed okay now let's see on animal kill two birds with one stone to succeed in doing two things at the same time as the crow flies now does not mean that something is happening when the crow flies not all the superstitions this expression refers to the distance measured in a straight line because it the crow mostly flies in a straight line so this idiom is matched because of that let the cat out of the bag it does not mean that you've captured the cat and put it in your school bag and then you have to open it and let the cat go Uh, it means to reveal a secret often or uh, often not intentionally so you do not want it to say the secret that your friend told to some of your other friend but it happened that it came out of your mouth by mistake so it we say that she can never keep the secret and she always spills the beans as we just said it previously and also we can say just just say of the secret man or why are you hiding so just let the cat out of the bag so raining cats and dogs now this is also very common we use it means it's raining very very heavily that does not mean that raining cats and dogs means that the cats and dogs are coming from the sky down it means that it's raining very heavily work like a dog that means to work very very hard so it's a very very harsh statement to use actually if you say to a person that you work like a dog that means that he's working very very hard and the the result is not coming smells fishy that means you are suspicious about something you must have caught someone doing something wrong or you just a feeling that this there's something kuch to gadbad hai feel smells fishy means kuch to gadbad hai pigs might fly does not mean the pig is going to fly it means expresses disbelief or the idea that miracles might happen but extremely unlikely that means um uh, pigs might fly actually means that it cannot happen reality mein ho nahi sakta it cannot happen but yes anything happens if god wills right so miracles can happen a snake in the grass does not mean wow there's a snake in the grass and the other person will start running and you will start shouting it means refers to someone who presents pretends to be your friend while actually betraying you oh very harsh one here again so a snake in the grass the other time if a person says that a snake in the grass that does not mean you start running you understand that the person is actually taunting you because you're not a friend you are acting like a friend but you're not a friend. now your idioms on nature have something for a rainy day that means does not mean to have a raincoat for the rainy day it actually means to keep an amount of money or for a time in future where you might need it so you are saving money for some bad situation that can happen once in a blue moon i've already uh, showed you all then chasing rainbows does not mean you are running behind rainbows that means some someone is trying to get something they will never obtain that means you can never hold a rainbow actually but you like to look at it and you like to go wherever the rainbow is right 
so sometimes people just run behind something that they will never have it and still they waste their time for example people run behind money money and money and they are not maybe it's in their in their destiny only a small amount of money is written but the whole life they're chasing money and they're losing their family and loved ones behind only for that small amount of money so storm in a teacup does not mean tufan aya on inside the teacup it actually means that something you think people are making a lot of unnecessary fuss or excitement about uh something that is not important now, sometimes it happens you know uh, when there are weddings for example weddings and marriages it it is so common that during weddings and marriages always fights happen uh for the silliest thing that if it would be a normal situation we would have just ignored it but i don't know why it happens i i feel that even you all must be knowing about this marriages and the families it actually creates a lot of problem for so unnecessary things people create issues right storm in a heat tika now face like thunder does not mean that the face there's thundering going on on the face means someone looks very very angry so he's going to blast like a thunder okay now idioms on food cool as a cucumber that means a person is so 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 calm and relaxed spill the beans i already taught you all this one the icing on the cake it does not mean that you've put ice on the cake now we've got new ice cakes wow yum but does not mean icing cakes okay now icing on the cake means an extra benefit that makes the situation even better for example if you're going to buy a laptop and uh, definitely you'll get a bag free uh, but you are going to get very good accessories with it uh, now the accessories provided in the laptop if you bought a laptop so a wireless mouse um a keypad a guard or a skin for the laptop and there are few stuff right but something that you've got extraordinary of the best quality so these stuffs that they give extra accessories with the laptop is actually of not so good quality right it will get uh, um it will get spoiled very fast but suppose you've bought a laptop and you've got brilliant accessories of the best quality with it and a lot of accessories that you'll say that i've got an icing on the cake that means with the laptop i've got so many extra things hot potato does not mean garam aloo it means a very sensitive and controversial matter which is difficult to deal with now sometimes it happens like i just said that about marriages right there's always uh, during marriages and weddings in the families that there are you know um, sorry fights going on so if you just step in from a very nicely parting and all and then you come back to the house where there's a wedding going on and you see there's a controversial thing going on so we will say oh, is this a hot potato topic that means we we, we are actually asking our cousin that something very sensitive and controversial is going on so easy as a pie that means uh, something that is very easy to do now why a pie is used here because if you cut down a pie it's very easy to cut right very easy uh to eat to chew to swallow that's why easy as a pie the proof of the pudding is in the eating that means something new can only be judged after it has been tested so uh that thing i uh, this thing this idiom actually reminds me of that advertisement that used to come like years back i hope you all must have seen it it is um, pehle istemal kare fir vishwas kare right so the proof of the pudding is in the eating that means first you will eat it man and then you put the name so sometimes it happens that the meal or the dish does not look that attractive but once you eat it it's very tasty right so it's like first you eat the pudding and then first eat it and then see what's the proof is it tasty or it's not so it is not only for a dish or a eating thing it's for any situation that for example in that advertisement uh, i think it's a it's a washing powder or something so pehle istemal kare fir vishwas kare so first test it and then you start trusting that the quality is good okay now let's go on money part 
the money part of idioms burn your fingers burn your fingers does not mean you've actually burnt your fingers it means suffer financially as a result of foolish behavior that means uh, to buy a stuff or buy so many things at a time you've gone out and you start shopping and you've brought so much of stuff and later on once you come home and you keep checking the stuff you come to know that oh i did not require this i did not require that and still you wasted so much of money cost an arm and a leg something that is very expensive i just explained to you feel the pinch that does not mean that you are going to pinch someone that means to begin to suffer from a lack of money that means as you have to start pinching that means little little money you have to use golden hand shake that does not mean a hand made of gold and you have to shake the hand it means generous sum of money given to a person when they leave a company or retire to give a lot of money money to burn does not mean you are going to burn the money it means a man a person who has so much of money that he can spend on anything that he wants be paid peanuts that means to does not mean that you are getting salary and in the salary you are going to get peanuts to eat oh god so silly that is that means you have a very low salary splash out of something spend a lot of money on it okay sport the ball is in your court it is your turn to speak or the next act is yours it's your chance play the game to accept to do things according to your rules laid down by others give the game away that means to give up the secret or the plan that you've made sail through something to succeed in doing without any difficulty skating on thin ice doing or saying something that causes great disagreement and trouble take someone for a ride just to cheat someone okay the other parts uh, i that like these parts i went very fast that is sport so from the sport till money we did it nicely so from the sport part we will be doing in the other session in the other lecture so i'll be coming back for another session another lecture with you all with the same topic uh, we'll go forward with sports and the topics that are left the categories that are left and then we'll finish with the idioms part i hope you're enjoying this it is a really fantastic topic and it can enhance your personality and the way you speak so please do attend the lectures and see my videos and i hope you all are understanding everything thank you so much yes i promised you all i'm not going to say stay back home so i'm going to say stay safe thank you so much take care